Hey guys, welcome again to today's video. Before I get into it, I just want to thank you guys. I have read a lot of your messages saying that these videos are helping you, not just in your interview processes, but a lot of you are just learning data structures and algorithms from it. So it makes me really happy. So today's problem is how to find the longest consecutive sequence inside of an array. So let's see how we solve it. So let me draw the problem out so it's a bit more clear. Mm -hmm. So let's say I have an array that looks something like this. I have 2, 1, 6, 9, 4, and 3. So in this case, the longest subsequence, if this is the input, then the longest subsequence would be uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, and the length which I'll be outputting would mm -hmm. be 4, right? Yeah. So output would be 4 because it is 1, 2, 3, and 4. Okay, perfect. So I think there are a few different ways we can approach it. The first one, which I think I'll, I'll, I'll go ahead with right now, mm -hmm. is I would want to input all of this array, all of the numbers in this array in a set mm -hmm. or a hash map. So let me just do that first. Or before, before I even do that, let me tell you what the logic is. Yeah. Now, I will have a set that looks something like this. I'll have two, let's call it true, one, true, six, true, nine, true, four, true, and three, true, right? Mm -hmm. And obviously, this will disregard all the duplicates. Okay. Now, this set, when I iterate over all of its elements, mm -hmm. I will say, hey, do I have a number that is smaller than this element in this set? If it is, then I'll know that it's not the starting point in my subsequence, okay. right? So I probably shouldn't start out there. I should start out elsewhere. And I'll keep a log of whatever the longest subsequence or the length of the longest subsequence is uh, at any given time, right? So let's say I'm starting out at 2. I say, hey, is 2 minus 1 in this set? It is in this set, right? So I don't need to iterate and say, hey, do I have 2 plus 1? Yeah. N plus 1, N plus 1. So I will go ahead in my iteration. I'll, I'll be at 1 now. So I'll say, hey, is 1 minus 1, which is 0, in this set? It's not. Yeah. So this is a good contender to be the first one in my subsequence. Mm -hmm. And then I'll go about checking, let's say in a while loop, that says, hey, do I have 1 plus 1? I do. Do I have, one, do I have 2 plus 1? I do. Do I have 3 plus 1? I do. So I will keep going till I don't find the plus 1. That way I'll figure out what the longest subsequence is, mm -hmm. right? And then I'll move on in this iteration and I'll go to six. I'll say, hey, do I have six minus one? Mm -hmm. In this case, I don't have five, so I will start at six, but I don't have seven either. So that'll be the longest subsequence as one, right? And at the end of that while loop, you know, I'll say, um, whatever is the max of the current subsequence and the one I just counted, take that as the longest one and then move on in our iteration, yeah. right? So at the end, I will have the answer in linear time complexity mm -hmm. and obviously linear space complexity as well. Yep. So let me write down a function for it, if you don't mind. Yeah. I will say a function. Can you start it from the looking here? Yes, want to make sure it's in the frame. Yeah. <laughs> yes, all right, function. Let's call it um, longest SUBS subsequence. Mm -hmm. Let's say the input is an array. Now, the first thing I need to do is transfer all the array elements into a set. So let me say, uh, let me call it just set. It's a new hash map. And I say array, um, or I can have a for loop, doesn't matter. So for i or for um, num in array so the only set transferring it to the set is to uh, disregard the duplicates, right? Um, that's not the only one. I, I also want to make sure that the time complexity doesn't go into quadratic, yeah. right? For each element, I don't want to trade over the entire array mm -hmm. just to just make just to find it. So I'll say set num equals true. Now, um, the next thing I'll do 
is I'll be trading over the sets, right? So I'll say for, um, let me say I in set. Now what do I do? I say whenever I encounter one, I say array of I is, um, or not array of I, I let's say is the number itself, right? So just to, just to make sure we are very clear what's the index, what's not. So let me just say number in set. Um, I will check whether the number one minus one exists. If it does, then I don't do anything. Um, if it doesn't, then uh, I go into my while loop, right? So I'll say if um, set num minus one. Let's say if not, if it doesn't exist, do this. Yeah, so I'll say while set uh, let me before I go into while loop let me just set the current number that I'm at as the as the number itself right so cur equals num then I'll say while um, set num plus one yeah um, we need to do two things. We need to um, increment the counter and then increment uh, cur as, uh, as well, right? Mm -hmm. So let me keep a log of the counter here. Cur equals num and count equals one, right? Mm -hmm. Then I'll say count plus plus yep. and cur plus plus, right? Yeah. And that's it. So after I'm done with the while loop, I know that I need to check whether my current longest or the, the longest, the count over here is greater than the longest subsequence that I have so up till now. For while loop, you're uh, checking for num plus one. Mm -hmm. But you're only modifying the cur variable. So. Oh, yes, you're right. I should actually check for cur plus one, not num plus one. Good point. So... Um, I have the while loop here, right? Mm -hmm. Now at the end of it, what do I do? I just have a comparison. So over here somewhere, when I have set over here, let me just say longest equals zero yeah. to start out with. And I'll say longest equals maybe math dot max um, longest in the count, right? Perfect. So at the end of this if statement, I will have um, I will have whatever is the longest one in that variable. Mm -hmm. And then what am I doing? I'm already trading um, through this for loop, right? Yeah. So I don't need to do anything. I think at the end this would take care of all of it, and I can just return longest. Let me just make sure that this logic actually works. So at the end, I will have longest that I'm updating inside of the for loop at every iteration where this if statement uh, is, uh, is evaluating to false, right? Um, yeah, that's good. This looks good to me. Yeah, uh, just uh, to make sure like num is iterating over all the keys of the set, right? Yes, num this is iterating over all of these keys. Yeah? Yeah, it looks good. Perfect. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I hope this was beneficial. If you liked it, please hit the like button below. It will tell YouTube that this video is worth watching for others. So it'll show it to other people as well. And also make sure you subscribe right there and hit the little bell icon so you get notified every time a new video comes out. And uh, if you're looking for more such videos, uh, check out the ones right there. Or if you're looking for more advanced data structures and algorithms problems, check out some information I've linked to in the description box below. If you're watching from the States, then I hope you have a very happy Thanksgiving. And if you're watching from elsewhere, I hope you have an equally amazing week. And I'll see you soon.